and I. How's it going? Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. So this is going to be your weekly love reading for February 14th through the 20th. Make sure you guys also check out your entire month of February love readings. There's a general, there's a singles, and then there's a bonus Valentine's Day reading, all right? Just for that one day. Okay, guys, at the very end of this reading, I will answer a yes or no question for you. So throughout the reading, try to think of a question that you have for me, and I can answer that for you at the end. It'll be the very last thing that I do. All right, here we go, Gemini. Gemini, if you are on other social media, feel free to check me out there. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, where I post other tarot-related content. Two of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Six of Wands reversed. Justice. Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> the Devil reversed. Okay. All right, Gemini, here we go. So you are coming in this week in this Two of Pentacles energy. This is yours. Everything else here can be for you or someone in your space that you're dealing with, right? Um, but you're in this Two of Pentacles. So you're likely weighing your options, trying to make a decision here. You could be juggling a couple people, but if so, it's not like a cheating thing. You might just be single and dating a couple people. All right, what's this Two of Pentacles all about for Gemini? The Ace of Wands reversed. Ooh, all right, you might be feeling not motivated, um, unmotivated, lacking energy. You just might not be all that into anyone right now. Oh boy, and the Two of Cups. Okay, so there's something happening, Gemini. <laughs> there's something happening here. You've got back-to-back -back twos with the Ace of Wands splitting them right in the middle, but it's reversed. So the Two of Cups is a soulmate connection. Um, now we have a ton of soulmates. I don't believe in just one soulmate here. So just an FYI, don't go too crazy with that. It doesn't necessarily have to be your forever person, but either way, you have a soulmate connection here that I don't know if you're even aware of or not. However, there's something here where somebody can't decide what to do it, about it. Or you might have somebody where there's like your connection's really good, but there's like no attraction. Do you know what I mean? Like there's like no attraction here or somebody might just not have the motivation or the energy for it. Let me get another one on that. Actually, I'm going to grab this deck. Could be with a water sign. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. All right, why is this Ace of Wands reversed here? The full reverse Aries, you could be dealing with an Aries, but with the full reverse there, it's like somebody's like afraid. Somebody might be afraid. To, I have chills. What the? F I don't know what's happening to me today in these readings, Gemini, but I feel real weird. <laughs> um. Anyway, with having the full reversed and the Ace of Wands reversed, somebody might be like afraid to have sex with someone. Somebody might be like afraid to like take it to that level. Also, the Ace of Wands and the full reverse can indicate like reckless sexual behavior. Behavior. So hopefully that's not a thing here. Um, but maybe, you know, anyway, with the nine of swords down here in your past, this is anxiety, depression. So you or the person you were dealing with was really going through it here in the recent past. Likely why there's no motivation or energy, if that's the issue here. Well, I mean, it's understandable. Why is the nine of swords here in the recent past for Gemini? Gemini. 
Why is the Nine of Swords here in the recent past for Gemini? The High Priestess. Hmm. Another one. The Seven of Wands. So something happened to where somebody didn't listen to their intuition and it caused them to be in a place which is really harmful. Anxiety, depression, some real emotional issues. Um, it's like your intuition was telling you to keep your guard up with this person and you didn't. So it resulted in a lot of hurt. Now this can be like recent past, like last month. It can be like five years ago. If this is just your past, right? Um, your present, you have the six of wands reversed. So this is, this is lack of confidence, guys. Now this is you or them. It doesn't have to be you. Somebody here in this situation has a real lack of confidence, but it might present as arrogance. It might present as like ego issues, but somebody feels like really unappreciated. Let's get one on that six of wands. Or somebody feels like they lost something. Oh my God. Gosh, oh, I don't know what the hell is wrong today, but I have these chills the whole time I'm doing these fucking readings, and they're not even that serious. I don't know why they feel so serious to me today. Shit. Anyway, you have death here. Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, um, or there's just an ending here. Six of Wands reversed is like somebody feels like they lost. Death, obviously, it's an ending. There's some kind of ending transformation going on here. Actually, I'm going to grab this other deck. All right. Why is this death energy here for Gemini? Why is this death energy here for Gemini? What is ending here? What is this all about? The Knight of Wands. Get another one. Aries Leo Sagittarius. And the Knight of Cups reversed. Oh boy, somebody's a fucking player. So again, you could be dealing with two different people. You've got two Knights here, two of Pentacles, two of Cups. You could definitely be dealing with two different people. If so, one of them is extremely emotionally immature. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, very emotionally immature. Um, they're real flirty, real romantic, but they just kind of fucking talk to everybody that way. So it's not genuine. Um, and with the Knight of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, it's, it's immature as well. Um, they're fun. It's sexed up, but that's like all it is. It's real inconsistent. So you could be ending something with two different people, or you could just be ending something with somebody who's just not consistent, um, full of shit, emotionally immature as hell. Get another one. And the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you want something that's more balanced to you, that's more your equal. Somebody who's going to put in the same amount of time, effort, energy that you are. And it just wasn't happening here. Okay, your potential obstacle now, though, is the Ace of Pentacles. So commitment's a problem for somebody. <laughs> I'll know if it's you. Or the person you're dealing with, somebody does not want to commit. All right. This is long-term commitment, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But it's an obstacle. Like somebody just can't get to that committed point. Let's, uh, let's get one on the Ace of Pentacles. Why is that an obstacle? The Five of Wands. Because there's drama. Somebody doesn't want to commit here because there's too much drama. There's too much arguing, um, disagreements. Somebody might feel like there's a lot of competition for the other person and they just don't want to commit because they feel like, you know, they either feel like you got a lot of people or you feel like they do. And it's just not worth committing because it would just be a lot of drama. Or you guys just really don't get along enough. But you've got that two of cups up there. So there's somebody here that is a good match for you. Or it might be like they look like a good match for you, but there's not enough attraction. Or it's really just, I don't know, jeez. I think you've got more than one person. And again, I don't mean that as a cheating thing. I just think that 
I think there's several people involved here. All right, in your immediate future, you've got justice, which is Libra. You might have a Libra coming in in your future. Uh, with justice here, though, this is things balancing out for you. You've got the Six of Pentacles followed by justice. So you are getting to where you need to be. You are getting in a situation, whether it's just you by yourself or you attracting another person that is your perfect match for you. Um, this is like karmic scales balancing out. It's you're not going to be in another connection here, not in the near future anyway, where it's not equally matched. All right, let's get one here on justice. What is this justice all about here? The hangman reversed. Yeah, that's um somebody finally taking some action on something when they previously were just not. Um, whether they were waiting for you, you were waiting for them, or just kind of just waiting for things to be the right time. Um, that's some action actually being taken here. Let's get another one. And strength, there you go. Overcoming obstacles. This is Leo as well. So if you were the one here that was having confidence, self-worth issues, you're getting over that. You're getting over it. You're overcoming obstacles. This is you like willing your life the way that you want it to look and not accepting any less. Okay. Um, your advice though, guys, is the devil reversed Capricorn. You've got a lot of majors here. So with the devil reversed um, as an obstacle, it's definitely one you want to have reversed. Um, let's see why it's here though. Why do we have the devil reversed as advice for Gemini? The moon, Pisces. What is hidden, Gemini? This is some things under the surface here. Some things that either you're not revealing yet, it's not the right time to reveal them, or you just haven't discovered about somebody else yet, potentially a Capricorn. The Ace of Cups, oh my gosh, Gemini. So there's a new beginning here for you. This is a new love offer. This is an emotional outpouring. Um, but it's not yet been revealed. And with the devil reversed here, this is healing toxic behaviors, toxic behavior patterns. It's releasing yourself from anything that you felt bound to, whether it was a person, a situation, um, a mentality even. It's coming out of fear, all right? Um, <coughs> Ace of Cups is a beautiful new beginning. Beautiful beautiful. It's either a brand new love here or it's a it's a rebirth of an existing one. Um, all right, looks all good. So, that's what I was saying. Yeah, there's some shit now. There's some people you might need to throw the fuck away, but it's getting a lot better. Okay, um before I pull your energy with the different signs, let's see who we have here so far. We have Aries. Um Scorpio. Leo, Libra, Capricorn, and Pisces. You have a lot here. So Aries, Aries, Libra, Scorpio, Leo, Capricorn, and Pisces. Jeez, so many. All right, here we go. Gemini dealing with Aries. Gemini and Aries. Oh, the Ace of Cups, which you have here in your advice. A brand new beginning. Lots of emotion, lots of love. Gemini dealing with Taurus. Gemini and Taurus. <laughs> Ace of Wands reverse. This might be the one that this reading's about, maybe, um, because you've got the Ace of Wands reverse in your energy. So if you're dealing with the Taurus, it's either just sex based or there's like no attraction whatsoever. One extreme to the other. All right, Gemini dealing with um, Gemini. Gemini and Gemini. The Eight of Pentacles reverse now. Um, that's not worth the effort. It's just a whole lot of repeated patterns. Gemini dealing with Cancer, Gemini and Cancer, Page of Cups. You could have a Cancer coming in, like a new Cancer, um, reaching out to you, expressing some kind of emotion to you, flirting with you, whatever. If you have an existing Cancer, this can be an apology. 
Gemini dealing with Leo. Gemini and Leo. The Ace of Pentacles reversed. If you're dealing with a Leo, they don't want to commit. Gemini dealing with, where are we at? Virgo. Gemini dealing with Virgo. Five of Pentacles reversed. So you could have a Virgo that's an ex that wants to come back to you, or you could have one that you ghosted, or they ghosted you, and now they want to come back. Gemini dealing with Libra. Gemini and Libra. Seven of Cups reversed. Some clarity coming in about that connection. There's some confusion that's going to be cleared up there. Gemini dealing with Scorpio. Page of Wands. If you have a Scorpio that is new, this is new communication coming in, likely sex-based. That's kind of Scorpionic anyway. Um, doesn't mean that that's all the further it's going to go. Maybe, who knows, but that's how it's going to start out. Gemini dealing with Sagittarius. Gemini and Sagittarius. Justice. There you go. You had that in your future. Maybe you have a Sagittarius coming in. Um, if you are dealing with a Sagittarius, they are a good match for you. They will treat you like they're equal and that can result in marriage. Gemini dealing with Capricorn. Gemini and Capricorn, the Eight of Cups. Nope. Somebody's walking away from that disappointed. Gemini dealing with, where are we at? Aquarius. Gemini and Aquarius, strength, which you had in this reading. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, um, patience will be required there, but you guys will overcome any obstacles in your way if you choose to. Gemini dealing with Pisces, which you also had in this reading. Gemini and Pisces. Ooh, the lovers. This is your energy, Gemini. So if you're dealing with a Pisces, they allow you to be your whole entire self. They kind of help to empower you. Um, and this is a divine union, divine counterpart. Doesn't necessarily have to mean it's forever, but it's harmonious while it's happening if you want it. Okay. All right, let's get you some romance angels, Gemini. Geminis need to hear the week of February 14th through the 20th as it pertains to their love life. What do my Geminis need to hear? Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I think you already know that. I think you do. <laughs> Let's get another one, Gemini. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Well, that's not the same one that's um, being fucking shady. Like I said, you've got you've got two different situations happening here. One decent, one is fucking not. All right, let's get you um, some of these oracles. So this is like an offensive deck. Doesn't mean it's you know it's not. Some of it's not. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Just don't be offended. Okay. Just don't. It's not that serious. It's just fun. I get real tired of doing these serious ass readings, so I have to um, throw something lighthearted in there. And these messages, you can kind of just throw wherever they fit in your life. It doesn't necessarily have to be your love life. All right, what do we got? Stop fucking whining. No one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change your world, so do it. <laughs> Whatever, whatever, Rebel Deck. <laughs> All right, let's get you another one. Whew. It's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out of your ass pronto. What? Jeez, these cards are being fucking dick today. Anyway, I think that's just because there's something going on here and you know it. And you have to put a stop to it because somebody's being fucking shady. All right, y'all, let's get your yes or no. Are you ready? Take a deep breath. Focus on your question. Yes or no for my Geminis. Yes or no, y'all. Yes or no. 
Yes or no. That's a yes with the Eight of Swords reversed. I hope you guys wanted it to be. You guys take care. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today.